Greetings, divine souls. I greet in the name of our Father, Mother, God, plus all the divine light kingdoms. For all the words that you're going to listen to, I ask you kindly to ask your heart in case they don't resonate with it. Uh, discuss them or use them to jumpstart the truth that is within your being. Before we start today's reading from uh, our brother, Jesus Christ, whom we call uh, Yesu Mwablamu, among we, the, the Baganda community, uh, there is some uh, topic I wanted to talk about uh, some uh, few lungs of creation. Remember, uh, in creation, there is a saying that as, as it is above, so below. What does it mean? It means that everything is a duplica of everything that you know. As I told you in the previous topics about the nine council, everyone has the council, has that nine council of creation. And it is the real you. Even the atom itself has the sixth council until it experiences through all the three elements to get the nine council as it pervers its experience in different uh, in different uh, uh, forms that is in in animals um, um, in, in in birds in insects uh, sort of now if we talk of uh, father God among the Baganda we call him Tonda Tonda among the Baganda is father God among uh, the English uh, speaking community. Then Mother God, we call her Namugereka. Now, these are energies that are within every every uh, proton and every nu uh, every neutron. So that means that they are in every creator. The creator it starts from the smallest unit, which is uh, atom. Atom, which means something that cannot be separated. So now, in the kingdom of our father, mother, God, there is a hierarchy of command, of commandership in terms of military. Now, in the terms of military, in the face of our father, mother, God, the spirit or the angel of death is the main commander there. And it is the same spirit, the same spirit that transfers into the angel of wildness. And then it transfers into the, 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 the Christ consciousness or the angel of Christ consciousness. It's the same spirit. Remember, we are all energies. It's just a transfer. And now, in the kingdom of the uh, Christ consciousness, whom we call Christ, or among the Baganda, whom we call Blam, then Archangel uh, Lucifer. Though I did not talk, ab I, I didn't, I didn't want to talk about the secretary ship, but Archangel Lucifer is his personal secretary. Now, for the high command, I mean the commander in chief in the kingdom of the Christ consciousness is um, King Ra or the son of the, uh, the, the sun god. Among the Baganda, we call him Chiwanuka. And then among the kingdom of uh, uh, Ra or the sun god, the commander in chief is Adam or Eve, whom we call Chintu and Nambi. Now, you can ask yourself, here on this planet, who is sitting in the lungs of uh, father and then mother? Now, in the lungs of this planet, um, Mother Earth, she's sitting in the charge of uh, Mother God. Or the rank of Mother God, and then Father God, it's the Son God that sits in that rank 
I'm on this planet. That goes way back and up to yourself. Yourself also. The one in charge of your kingdom. It's in the heart. Before you discover your soul. Both father and mother settle in the heart. And now when you discover and you start uplifting your powers, then uh, father moves to create the sun within your chest or your heart chakra. And then mother uh, stays in the heart, but they are uh, in the same position of creation. Now overseen by what we call the one. The one is the combination of these two powers, father, mother, God, to, to create your higher self whom we call Abarongo or Omorongo among we the Baganda. So that is briefly I wanted to tell you uh, for today. Hope uh, you get the logic that goes all to all creators. Even an animal has those lungs. Every creation, every creator has those lungs. So that is the reason why they say, as it is above, so below. Now, uh, father, mother, God can go to an extent of a village or a town. It's just a summation of the energies of father, mother, God within each entity in that country or that city or that village to create an entity called father, mother, God or the owner of that village. The same goes also to the Elohims which are within you to create the major Elohim that is in charge of that city or your town to make the council of nine it starts from the gods within that locality all right uh the title is uh you have you have chosen to limit your full uh, awareness greetings um i'm jesus christ your brother as you are as you are as you are all aware, humanity is at a major moment of change, a turning point in its spiritual evolution, a massive uh, moment of growth. Uh, it's long planned, it's long planned, awaiting from awakening from unreality, with which it is engaging wholeheartedly, as most uh, purposefully intended from the from the instant in which they in which it appears that separation of card. The unreal has always been unreal because uh, because of most of because of your most powerful creative abilities as the divine children of God. It has uh, from the first instance in which you, co you collectively constructed it seemingly absolutely real, which was your intent in the decision and choice to con to concord it. Now, you have decided that enough is enough. Separation, division, disagreement, and conflict uh, have shown have shown themselves to be insane ways in which in which to engage with one another. Uh, very frequently causing you to causing you unfold uh, untold pain and suffering. So you have chosen this moment to let it go all and awaken into the internal and inf infinitely loving presence of Father, Mother, God. For us, in the, in the non-physical realm, uh, this, this, this is a moment of an un, 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 unalterable joy. Finally, you are realizing, uh, your, you are releasing your intense greed on everything, truly, truly on nothing that brings you only pain but suf pain and suffering and are uh, in the process of, of returning home as in the par as in the parable of the prodigal son uh, to a most magnificent welcome home is where you belong where you are always ultimately and completely welcome and is a state of existence from which you have never departed even for for an instant why simply because there is nowhere else. You just uh, crossed yourself 
of temporary from your awareness of reality and full engaged in the unreal. The erosion environment that you constructed to experience uh, that which is not, that is, that is which is not and which can never be unreal state where there. Love is constantly sought instead of being constantly experienced. It is time to awaken from the dream of pain and separation, and humanity is now collectively engaging in doing so. You cannot fail to awaken because your awakened, your awakened state is, is all that exists. Being awake is to know yourself as one with souls constantly and without any possibility of interruption. Nevertheless, to say it is a state of uh, supreme joy in which there are no uh, needs of any kind and in which your magnificent uh, creative abilities are fully engaged in adding to the joyful harmony that that is all, that is all, all is all, and it is infinite perfection in every aspect of itself. As it, uh, as it shares and exits itself with all, with itself, and that is who you are. Yes, you are one, an individual, which provides the, the perfect way to engage with and interact with love, your nature of oneness and all. Words, words just cannot possibly express what I am attempting to express here. But when you awaken, all will be absolutely crystal clear and only and only infinitely brighter and brilliant brilliant the bright the light that is love that is god that is god that is you it is quite impossible for you to to conceive of this state of being where you choose to to remain in form uh which is a choice you made and and you can and you can and will reverse it um as you all continue to, to flow through the awakening process, you are becoming increasingly aware, of course, and your awareness, which is constant, which is true, uh, is infinitely vast, is beginning to see more and more love in the world around you as you allow yourself to open to it. Uh, that's uh, that, that awareness has always been with you because it is you. It is, it is consciousness. However, while experiencing life in unreality, you have chosen to anonymously limit your full awareness by focusing on the only details of the state that you experience through your life form. Individual pieces of the seemingly vast jigsaw uh, puzzle that life in form appears to be. And and which you each person extract extract from the state and identity with doing doing so confirms for you for you uh your belief that that you are all separate from one another and confirms for you that the almost constant unlaying sense that by doing by being alone you are in danger from uh those from those others Having experienced trauma in a, in if in if in if if infancy infancy and childhood as you all have, although often not intended, this belief uh, this belief is very deeply ingrained within your human psychic. Uh, this why you lack uh, trust in and have doubts about the authentic key authenticity of Father, Mother, God, infinite and internal love for you. The way forward from these doubts is, is to go within and invite and allow love in which you are uh, in, which you, in which you are enveloped to embrace you fully so that you can sense and feel it. Then your doubt will cease and fade as your truth uh, feels the love uh, reality. It will be only a temporary cessation because everything that you have experienced through your human form is temporary, which uh, these two will pass. However, the memory of it will remain within you and accessible in every moment, uh, seizing your doubts and strengthening your faith in God's love for you. That memory of your memor memory uh, experience of reality will empower you to 
to renew your truth that is all is well that is all is well that your awakening is coming to fruition and will assist you in accessing your own deep inner knowing that you truly are one with source always and forever you will no longer buy into the insanity of believing otherwise because your knowing of reality will be with you as a constant reminder that love is all and is infinite wisdom and fully as acceptance of itself as expressed through you you are one internally with love and so it is your divine right to love honor respect yourself at all times not to do so not to do so is to not to do so is to disobey god's divine creation as you experience it in human form simply because you are playing an imaginary game living uh, an erosion a dream nothing of who you who you truly are can change and it is just that uh it's just that your free will choice permits you to imagine yourself as an unworthy sinner uh, sometimes some t- something else something other that is unreal and has never existed as 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 you have been told so often by humans uh mystics and by those who uh, converse with you from the non physical realm uh sin judgment uh shame and punishment are totally unreal just like the unreal environment you experience you experience while choosing to experience to experience life in form as human god is love god is unconditional god is all that exists and within that state there is no other state place or environment of any kind all is all is in perfect divine alignment anything that is not in complete alignment with love is unreal couldn't doesn't and never has existed father mother god is love you are love and your glorious awakening is di- is uh divinely assured and guaranteed therefore rejoice because all is internally well your loving brother jesus christ namaste